Hey everyone! Happy new moon! Happy day of nines! What an epic day. My shirt is permanently stained from my son. I actually have no idea what this is. It could be anything. I have a toddler, so there's that. So I had the flash of inspiration to come on and I was like, I gotta go, I gotta get on. Hey Tanner, I'm not driving for once. Hey Jen. So I just shared, if you've seen, I shared my results from my last program that I did. Hi Susie. And those results I have literally been sitting with for like a few days. Hey, Miss Punkette Betty. Thanks for hopping on. I think it's the first time you catch me live. Um, I've been sitting with these results and I've been looking at them and I'm like, so many feelings flooding me, so many different things that I wanna say. So, I mean, if y'all have been following me for any length of time, you know that I have been fitness coaching and helping other people for three years, almost three years. In April, it'll be three years. And I have had so many versions of myself be born and reborn over and over again through this entire three years that I've been doing this. Hey, Laura, thanks for hopping on. And, you know, when I started, I was in such a terrible place mentally, and I really didn't know how I was ever going to inspire anyone to do anything with their life, let alone get fit and like free themselves of emotional eating because I was like trapped in this like really torrid love affair with food. And I couldn't really let go of the idea or belief that food was for not my feelings basically, that food was just to take care of my body, it was to nourish me, it wasn't to like fix any gaps that were hurting inside of me or missing inside of me. And uh, because I had such bad postpartum depression, it was like eating was my thing. You know, I was having such a hard time with being a new mom and it was like, at least I can have donuts, at least I can have cake, at least because sugar is like my thing. Um, yes, girl, so much more fun when you evolve into the next version. And so I've, for the past three years, I have been like coaching my own coaches and coaching my clients through their, through their processes, through their food issues, through their you know, resistance with exercise through there. And I have been sort of like in this mirror relationship with them, right? Like helping them, helping me, helping them, helping me. To me, that's one of the most powerful things about being a coach is that yes, I'm coaching people, but also I'm learning. I'm learning from their example. I'm learning from their struggles because they're also mine. And we tend to attract people that are very similar to us. So a lot of what was coming up in my clients was stuff that I was going through. Um, and you know, the beginning of this year of 2018, I, I started it at the worst place I had been so far in the two years that I was in coaching, I had injured my back, I had gained some weight back, I was definitely really out of shape compared to where I had been, you know, prior to that. And I like I drew a line in the sand and I was like, 2018, I'm going to take my life back and I'm gonna do it in a major way. And it started with a program, an 80 day program that I did, which you guys probably followed me through from January through March. And I killed that program. I was so consistent. I was like really, really in it to win it. And I had amazing results from that program, but I was still binge eating. I was still like having to struggle the desire to binge eat and having to struggle that like, I'm eating so, so clean. I'm following this so, so strictly. And then so like my obsessive mind, because if you have an emotional eating thing, then you have obsession. You have an obsession with food in some way and, and not obsession in the good way. Like there's obsession that's great. And then there's like obsession that's like um, OCD, like calculating. And that's where that's where my mind, my mind was with food. And it was like, I could follow something very strategically down to a T, but it would like, it would almost hurt me. And so a lot of what I see with my clients, like especially with keto, cause keto is like the newest thing and everybody's like on the keto bandwagon, which not to shit on keto because it has, to me it has a very specific purpose and it's very powerful in realigning the body when you've gotten like way off track. I think it can do a lot for your body. However, people are approaching it like a diet and they're going into that lifestyle with a diet mentality. And so it doesn't matter what lifestyle you're going into, if you're going into it with a diet mentality, you're going to have diet results, which means that you're going to go extreme to extreme binging um, or starving yourself or like depriving. And then like you freak out, you know, when we, 
when we have the mind of someone who has body image dysmorphia and when we have the mind of someone who has like unhealthy patterns of codependency with food, restriction and deprivation is horrendous for our brains. And so following something that's really, really strict and that really like keeps out a lot of food actually triggers that desire to like go out and fucking binge your brain out. Like that's what it does. And that's what it did to me. And being a fitness coach, working with fitness programs that are designed in a very specific way, I was very hyper vigilant on the fact that that's what was happening to me. And if it was happening to me, it was going to happen to my clients. It was going to happen to them, no doubt. So a couple of things happened this year that really changed the course of my life with food in relationship to my work and the company that I work with with fitness. They launched a program that was about emotional eating. They launched a nutrition course. It wasn't a fitness program, which is the first time in the history of their existence that they ever launched anything like this. So for the past 20 some years that Beachbody has been around, they've just done exercise programs forever. And for the first time ever, they decided, listen, people are having issues with food. They can't even complete our programs because they have food issues and no one's addressing the core problem, which is they have emotional eating issues. So they hired in a registered dietitian nutritionist. She brought in a system that she's been using with her clients forever and having amazing results. She used them on herself and lost 100 pounds. They made this program and they launched it in May. And that program was like, I have chills right now, was a turning point in my life because the moment that I took on that program and I watched her videos and I heard her talk about food, it was like looking at my fucking self. And it was like looking, I saw her as that version of myself that I always wanted to be, which was free. Free of the food story, free of the food bullshit, free of the pendulum where I'm constantly swinging from starvation to binging and fucking hating myself the entire way through it. I saw her as what was possible for me and I freaking clung to that. And I, I dove into that nutrition course and I was like, I'm gonna give this 110,000%. A lot of it was not new information for me, but it was the way she framed it that changed my brain. It changed the way I saw food. And so I was like, okay, I was doing it and I was having amazing results and I was feeling so confident and so good. And then they launched this fitness program that I just finished, the eight week results that you just saw from May to September. That was this program that I, that I took on for eight weeks recently. And when I, when I paired what I had learned here with this nutrition focus. And then I paired this, this style of exercise, which was really interesting because it was the first time I had done heavy lifting with HIIT training and with a food model that was more relaxed and that incorporated things like treats. Like you saw me post a donut every week. I know you guys were watching my donut pictures cause those shits are amazing. And if you didn't look at my donut pictures, go onto my like page because that's where all my donut pictures are at. <laughs> yes, girl. So I had the tools from that nutrition course and then I paired them with this exercise program that was so manageable. You guys, it was only four days a week. I only worked out four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. That's it. I had a rest day on Wednesday. I had a rest day Saturday and Sunday. I didn't do anything else because I wanted to just look at my results from the program as it was designed. And I had killer fucking results, like killer results. I lost four inches between my chest, waist, and hips. I gained four pounds actually, but as you can see in the picture, it was straight up muscle. Like I just got so built and fast. It happened really, really fast. And more importantly, because of the way the structure was where it allowed you to have like dessert or beer or whatever you, I don't drink alcohol, but whatever it is that you like that is, it, typically excluded from like a nutrition plan, I didn't feel deprived. And so I approached this workout program with that mentality, mentality like, how can I make this easy? How can I make this flow? How can I end this disastrous relationship that I have with like binging and food, food like being my emotional comfort? And I just took it on, you guys. I took it on head first. And I was like, I am not going to eat for emotional comfort. Like, I'm not gonna do that anymore. Like, I'm done. I'm done with that story. And every time I wanted to grab for something, I was like, what are you doing? I would literally confront myself like I was confronting someone who was trying to assault me. Like, what are you doing? Like, we made a decision, remember? Remember that decision that we made? I think there was one time where I did eat something and I knew that it wasn't because I was hungry and it also wasn't like, um treat day so I'd give myself a treat like once a week and I 
I had it earlier than that. Like I had had treat day and then I think like three days later I had something that was as calorically dense and I really felt weird. Like my body was like, this is, this is uncomfortable. Like we, we didn't even enjoy that. I'm nauseated. I actually got nausea from doing that. And it was so powerful for my body to give me that feedback. Like we're not there anymore. Like this doesn't feel good. It feels bad. And, and then I tried it, I tested it. The next time I waited seven days and then I ate something like that donut or ice cream or whatever and I felt fine. But if I tried to eat anything earlier than that, it was like I'd get sick. And here's the thing, the change starts in here before your body can really catch up to what you're doing. Because the body is the mind. The body is like the subconscious version of the mind. So as you're altering here, and let me add that the whole time I've been doing these two programs, the nutritional course and fitness program, I've been doing these really intense meditations, which is actually the meditations that I teach all of my clients. So I hand, whatever I use, I show up in my fitness community and I'm like, here, take everything that I use because this is changing my life. So this is a big part of what I do as a coach is I work on me and then I just hand it over and I'm like, you guys take it and run. So I've been doing these really powerful meditations and I've been just sitting with that. So doing the meditation, then doing the fitness, and then in my day using the mindfulness component and I kid you not you guys it was just been like switch 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 to the point where I can feel the pathways in my brain changing like actually real time feel it changing and it's the first time in my life I've ever felt that but the difference has been I've been ridiculously consistent I haven't done just one thing here and one thing here like I'm gonna work out or I'm only gonna address my food, or I'm sometimes gonna meditate. No, I took it all on at the same time. I'm like, I'm gonna look at my food shit, I'm gonna be on top of my game with my fitness, I'm gonna be on top of my game with my meditation. I'm not gonna drop the ball on any single one of these. And I went hard. For the past eight weeks, I've been like on it, like relentlessly. And let me tell you, it freaking works. And I am standing here like, I did not binge eat one time this past eight weeks. And I can say that with a straight ass face, I didn't. Not even once. First time in my life that in a span of eight weeks I have not had the desire to binge eat, let alone actually, you know, eat the thing. And I, I could have never said that before now. I could have never said that before now. And so it gives me such a profound sense of hope that you don't need to spend forever in therapy to get rid of this stuff. Like some people might, but not everybody does. You can have such simple tools and just that self-determination and do the thing. And this is coming from someone, I have been dealing with this shit since I was like 11 years old. I was starving myself at 11. That's how young this started for me, okay? So if I have been dealing with that for nearly 20 years, this has been like my story, anybody can do this. You know, I'm not more special or stronger or more gifted than anybody else. This is so, so simple, but you've got to do it all. You've got to do it together and you've got to have support. And this is the thing that I love about group support. If you're not doing it with someone that like, can hold space for you, I just had one of my coaches post on my wall today. She moved, shit went crazy for her. She fell off the bandwagon. I reached out to her and I'm like, what are you doing? What's going on? Why aren't you showing up? What's happening? And she's like, well, this happened. And I'm like, okay, what are you gonna do about it? And that's what I did. I held the space for her to like look at her actions and go, shit, I don't know. I'm, I'm making excuses for myself. I'm actually not showing up for myself. And I'm like, yep, that's exactly what's happening. So here's your game plan. You're gonna do this, you're gonna do this, and you're gonna do this, and you're gonna change your reality because life is too short and you're not gonna be living your shit story forever. And she was like, okay, let's do it. Shifted, she shifted. In one conversation, she was in a new place. That is the power of having accountability and having support. Obviously in a fitness community, I do that with my clients, but with my coaches, I'm even more intense because we're coaches and we're supposed to be helping other people. And if we get stuck, we can't help other people. So my job is to shift my coaches as fast as possible so they can get out there and go help other people. I don't want my coaches ruminating. I don't want my coaches sitting in their shit. I want you to move. So whatever's gonna get you to move, I'm gonna make sure you get that. I'm gonna make sure you have that available to you. But again, what I've done in three years of liberating myself from this, could have not been done without all the components I used, without the mind work, without the body work, without the looking at the nutrition, without the support, without the tools, without everything I employed, the arsenal of things I put together to make sure that I get it done, right? And I did it in three years, which is a relatively short amount of time considering that I've been dealing with this for what, 15 years? Almost 20 years, it would have been, not anymore, 15 years. 
Um, so anyways, I just wanted to hop on and share my journey with you guys and let you know that it's completely possible to do that if you're struggling with that pendulum swing and if you're struggling with this like binging and you know hating yourself and not knowing where the balance is like you can do this. You don't need like to brainwash yourself. You don't need to like go to therapy for a million years like you have the capacity to change your reality like this. All you need are simple tools and support. That's it. That's it. Do it however you want to do it. But if you're inspired by my journey and you want to do what I do, I've got a very simple formula for you. It's really simple. It's really clear cut. There's no gaps in time. I will give you everything I used. I will share all the secrets that I did. I am happy to do that. Just reach out to me, comment below and let me know yes, or reach out to me privately if you're not comfortable. I understand this is a sensitive subject matter and sometimes people don't want to be called out. They just want to reach out in private and I'm totally fine with that. I get a lot of private messages of people for that reason. We do have a fitness group starting October 1st. So as I posted in my post, I have a community opening for enrollment for October 1st, okay? We start enrolling in the middle of September because it takes time for you to get set up. And I usually get on the phone with you and I ask you questions about your schedule, about meditation, about your morning routine. I help you organize your calendar. I help you set yourself up for success so you don't get overwhelmed and fail, right? So because it takes time to get you set up, we start now. So. Um, reach out to me. I'm, st I'm setting up the group right now for info. It's not completely done. Um, but once the group is done with the information pieces in it to learn about it, I will post it in this video in the comment section. You guys can revisit it. So save this video so you can go back to it. Or if you just reach out to me, I'll put you on a handwritten wait list that I have going on because I have a little, little list on the side since the group is not 100% available. Okay, so um, I'd love to talk to you. This is my jam. This is This is my life's work and it's becoming more and more intentional because of how it's changed my life like liberating myself from the food story has been game changing like 100 percent. and i want to help you get out of that because once you're out of that your whole life looks so fucking different so different it's incredible so i love you guys thanks for hanging with me on this sunday and uh drop me a comment or send me a message if you're up to hang with us all right have a good night guys